I was just sitting here a minute ago and I was playing drums to the radio and I'm playing them on this thing so I kind of play notes. And some lady came by and she said, that's great. You know what, I want to Snapchat you. And I said, no, I'm bleeding. I got a, an industry story and a gig and sorry. And then it occurred to me that <clears throat> earlier when I was sleeping, <clears throat> some girls came by and I'm in the back, I can't hear them. And they're, they're talking about this thing, right? And they're trying to read what says Bordello de Alexandra, but they don't know what a bordello is. So they're saying board, board, board de, board, bordel de Alex. And I, I yell, it's a whorehouse that belonged to Alexandra. She's the girl on the dragon. Any more questions? And they're like, thanks. They didn't know what a bordello was. They can read. They don't know what a bordello is. Very strange interactions th through the back of the truck. I had a lot of funny shit I said to random people, and I keep doing my Johnny Depp, Keith Richards, and then preaching afterwards. So let's just not say we did. But the one fun thing that happened to me yesterday, and one of my themes here at John TV One is that Murphy hates me. I'm having what we call a Murphy cascade effect my whole fucking life. And so I sit down at the cafe yesterday. It wasn't bleeding this bad. And, uh, Really hot, deadhead girl. I don't know how there's a deadhead girl in 2017. Scantily clad, she had a dingo. I said, that's a dingo? She said, yeah. I said, did anyone ever say, you know, the dingo ate my baby? And she said, well, when I was in Humboldt, I lost the dingo, and then I was looking for it, and then some women had babies, and then they clutched them tighter. Ha ha. She sang in a Grateful Dead cover band. She was very impressed that I'd been 10 feet from Jerry Garcia. I didn't get to the Black Peter story. Um... She grows weed and she's getting, are you ready for this? A degree in divinity and the graduation involves ayahuasca and Ecuador. Why is this a Murphy story? It sounds like I'm headed for an awesome date and possibly happy ever after, right? No, another hippie with an identical drink comes, sits down, puts it down and just, he never said a word. This is a part of the story I love. He never said a word. He sits down, he just stares at me, I'm like, Oh God, you're here to relieve me, right? I'm the warm-up band, I'm the opening act. Got her all lubed up for you, right, bro? He just stares at me. At the end, he just, she goes, are you ready? And he, he nods, and I'm like, great, <laughs> thanks. So, I'm like the pit crew, right? I got it ready. <laughs> Jerry Garcia, <laughs> right? And I wanted to go back to the Doctor of Divinity and the Ayahuasca part, and I said, so this means that you don't know anyone at your divinity school that will do street theater performance art with me and help me cathart my inner I hate Jesus and pl played the role of Jesus while I beat him up for making me sick for 39 years and being a dick and it says so in the Bible no and she said no we take ayahuasca and hang out in the woods and I said oh well I was gonna take ayahuasca but I decided not to in the air one parking lot guy wanted to give it to me I thought this is not the right place that said if a person's name is shaman isn't their job to shame you I already met a priest when I was a kid. Let's not go there, please. Wait, I'm having a bad flashback now. You know, this is what ayahuasca is for. I want to do ketamine and then they do therapy on you and then they wipe your slate, table rasa. It's great. So she left. Yeah, that wasn't fun. Murphy Cascade, he never, he never said where he's, he like, at the end he wasn't going to even say anything and I nodded and he nodded, right? And then that was that, so. Okay, you're relieved. Later. You know what I really hate? is when a band comes out and they're gonna play some of their stupid douchey music and they're pretty good musicians but their music sucks and they play like 15 seconds of a Led Zeppelin song they can play really well but they don't play it then they go into their stupid music and like dude that's the ultimate tease stop that that's what this was like only much worse because I haven't had sex for 19 years and now I'm bleeding today I was kind of bleeding yesterday but I'm really bleeding today I wonder if this brought this on okay Freud Schmoid Pavlov Shmavlov Dingo ate my baby. And actually, also, as a note, dingoes are totally different from dogs. They're mellow. At the end, something scared it, and it came and sat in her slash my sort of lap. And it was just like we shared a dingo for a moment. <laughs> okay. Later. <laughs> my baby ate my baby. <clears throat> Where's my daughter? I, I, just, I, I can't go from a dingo to my daughter. <laughs> He's always looking for his fight. Did he ever find his goddamn daughter? No. Let me, can I get a second take? Okay, hold on. Let me set up and project from the diaphragm. In two, three. This totally fucks it up, right? In two, three, four. Where's my daughter? 
and then he kicks some ass, right? He says that. He's like one line in the whole movie, and then he just kills everyone. It's great. I love Liam Neeson. Okay, I didn't lose a daughter, and I almost had it. Well, I almost had a daughter, but let's not go there. And then, so, but she ran off with the guy, and just... I told her a story about being Ross to John's chauffeur and being 10 feet from Jerry Garcia and John Con, and the only thing she said that was kind of sexy was she went, Ross to John. And she doesn't know my name's John, right? Okay, so later, no, he didn't find his daughter. He just kills everyone because he can't find her. It's kind of, just find your daughter and stop killing people, Liam. Okay. 